what's up you guys it's Zidana so I realized that on my last video the sound was a little bit muffled and so I wanted to do this video for you again I told you guys that I was going to take you on my last day of me being solely a trauma PA and so that is what I'm going to be doing for you in this video uh, join me in the next five minutes as we walk through my last day as a trauma PA let's do it so typically I like to start my day off by getting myself ready. I usually make my bed and then try to figure out something to eat after I've gone through my morning rounds. Um, this is me walking into the cafeteria. This is our calf. Uh, there's not usually like the best selection for me as a vegetarian, but I typically usually get like eggs and potatoes um, to eat because uh, there's not really a meat option. 10 13 usually eating my egg and my potatoes and then typically go to the floor to actually like start working this is our work room here we have lots of snacks not always the best snacks but snacks to kind of just keep you going throughout the day this is where we do all of our charting and writing of notes because if you don't document it it didn't happen so I got called to the floor to check on a patient. So I wanted to do that. You always have to sanitize in and out. So make sure that you keep your hands clean. Uh, then I got called down to the trauma bay. I wanted to take you guys to the trauma bay uh, before I saw this first trauma. Um, typically there's a lot of stuff going on, but in that middle area is where we usually do our charting and writing of notes. We have five trauma rooms, specifically four, but five a fifth one that we can run a trauma out of uh, here you can see that there's a tower kind of in the back that's where we keep all of our supplies where we can get quick access to various different things you saw two monitors that gives us the capability of running two traumas in the room at a, at a time so if you were a family member here I am my trauma came in I wanted to kind of just look up some labs and images just kind of again do my charting I got a call for a consult and the consult was about a bowel obstruction. So typically look at it in various different views. Um, I wanted to show you guys the various different views that I was looking at the bowel obstruction so you can see exactly what that looked like. Time to eat. So usually I bring like my protein, but uh, I typically try to get a salad and I'll bring something else. That's pilori, a Trinidadian dish. Put some salmon on the salad and doing my happy dance because I'm getting the opportunity to kind of eat a little bit early. Because again, you never know when you're going to be called for a trauma. Got to hydrate because I got called for a level one trauma. And this patient had some subcute air on what would be the right side of your screen and then some broken bones in their face. Uh, so we had to call the OMFS team to kind of manage that. Had some other injuries as well. This is just like a cool 3D rendition of the inner um, aspect of the patient's body. Again, documenting. All right, so I'm going to try to get a little nap because, you know, again, you never know when a trauma is going to come in. Uh, it's about seven-ish right now, and so I usually try to get in bed, but got called for another trauma. Level one trauma came in, and this was a pretty interesting one. You'll see a very, very bright, shining light at the bottom of the screen. That is a bullet in the patient's spine. There's also some fluid on the lungs. So I decided to wrap my hair up because I was like very optimistic that I would be done for the night. We usually trade off. Um, there's usually three trauma PAs and sometimes a resident. And so each of us will take a trauma, we'll take turns just so the other person can get some rest. So this is me um, wishful thinking, but I was wrong. <laughs> Another drama game in y'all. I was very tired here as you can see on my face um, looking at the images that came through, um, looking at lab work and again charting to make sure that I documented everything. My trauma had a broken forearm uh, as you can see in this. Went to bed because I was done and that was it. My last night as a trauma PA. <laughs> 